Greetings, guys. Hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning back in. I'm Imperial Jedi, and time for another episode. So we're going to be working again over here on our university campus and the surrounding area. I would like to maybe make a little um, high-density residential kind of community right here. I, I really think our population should be a lot higher, just, you know, given what it is right now. And um, yeah, I think just based on feedback, we will actually bring that other uh, set of tracks in. So let's quickly start with that. Do a little bit more work over here. Drop down some more buildings, and uh, let's kind of see how time goes. So what I was thinking was um, we would do kind of like a connection outward like this. And then uh, I actually just off camera, I changed the height of um, uh, this bit of road right here just so that we can sneak a train like right through right here, hopefully. Yeah, cool. So why don't we sneak around right here on the um, edge. Kind of do a little riverbank hug right here. We get the height to work with us, of course. Yeah, that's not so bad for height. I mean, it's a little, a little bit of a dip, but I think that's okay. And then why don't we, yeah, just go right into the tunnel like that. Cool. I'm going to change that transition because that looks terrifying, but... I think that's what we're after. Short and sweet. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. Is it perfect? I'm ready to say that. It is perfect. I'll take it. I like it. That was easy. So as a bonus, we'll see some trains coming through. I'm not going to have it connect the other way, because I think that'll make a little bit too much train traffic. We already have quite a few trains on the um, on the tracks these days, so don't really want to add to that. All right, so let's connect over on this side. And I wasn't necessarily planning on putting um, another train station over here, but now that I'm thinking about it, like especially since we're doing a um, like a high density little neighborhood, maybe we should have another train station. Yeah, that's kind of nice, right? But maybe I don't know, maybe one one little station over here. Have that connected to the region. You know, we'll, we'll think on it, and then maybe we'll make up our mind towards... Um, we'll kind of see what the area ends up looking like. It's more of like a tribal-style interchange right here. A little Triforce. It's kind of work. Cool, right? I guess it's not really a Triforce, but it still works. All right. Um, I remember I was saying I wanted to use a few of these kind of cool custom buildings for our... Um, uh, university area. I think we can still do that. This right here is a TV studio, so maybe we can have like yeah, a television studio on campus. And the fact that that fits beautifully right there, that's pretty cool, right? So maybe that's like the multimedia wing of our um, of our school. There's some parking lots next to that one. Oh yeah, right. These don't fit very well. That's right. I remember now. Okay, well, we still need the area for the buses to come through, so maybe that could be what this road here is for. And I wonder... Yeah, we can get that really close. Oh, I wonder if these will... Yeah! I like that. Kind of shares the concrete and everything, too. I almost, like, I wish we could go up a bit further. And do something like this, right? I mean, theoretically, we can have it become a dead end street just so it matches that one. Yeah, I can do that. I'm, I'm fine with that. Okay, so parking lots. A little bit of zoning. And then same idea, probably some more parking lots. Man, we're trying to find parking on campus. That was like one of my greatest challenges forever and ever and ever. So let me do one of those over here. It's a shame we're just like that one size off. Let me do that. I think we'll go like this, just so that's a little bit more 
even Steven with everyone else. Nice. So we'll zone, uh, zone this as commercial. And this is where our residential bit can be. I mean, we are just a little bit boxy over here. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but cause that. Try and keep it symmetrical. But I was hoping for something a little bit, not like, I don't know, like something unique over here, just to make this area feel a bit different than everywhere else. I wonder how we can achieve that. For sure, we could do something like a custom park. Maybe expand on this even. If you don't take that out. Let's unzone people from here. Let's instead make this commercial, because I, I see that as more of a shopping kind of kind of thing, anyhow. You know, I'll make that commercial too, why not? Alright, slowly coming together here. I wonder if there's any more of these buildings we could use. The software development studio, that'd be kind of nice over here too, I think. Oh, that would have been so perfect right here. Darn it. No. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Still fits right there. So why don't we do that? I like the way that looks. We did lose a little bit of commercial, but totally not the end of the world. You know, maybe actually instead of um, concrete, we could do that with the dirt. So we have a few of those already over here, right? Yeah, that's nice. Some parking in here. Yes, Surrey Bob. I really like this, actually. Just commercial that bit. Then maybe just a little bit of high density right here. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. But yeah, so as far as like a park or something goes, like maybe something down the six lane road. So as you're like driving towards the school, you get that kind of like university campus kind of feel. I was trying to go for that with this, but I don't think we have enough um, park action. Why don't we use some of these guys here? Oh, beautiful. Fits on the one side. Of course not on the other, though. Yeah, I think this fits the bill. Oh yeah, that's totally what we're after. <clears throat> and again, I'm not I'm not opposed to doing, you know, um a bit boxier over here. It's just it would have been nicer to do something a little bit different than just kind of like a boxed out grid kinda kind of thing here. Like it's good that we have a little bit of a roundabout. I do like the difference in the uh, you know the train versus the tram coming in. We well, you know we still need is our spot for the buses. I think that's what maybe this will be. Why don't we squash that closer? Come on. There it is. Yeah, so that's the spot for the buses. They come in, pick up their people, and then they leave. Oh, that's perfect. Happy with that. And maybe there's some shops or something in between. Let's see how that looks. As long as they're not too uh, too crazy looking. And actually, let's see this in action. Let's drop a bus down. So we'll pick up our people. We'll Old music. cut Old through music. here. This will just go to our um, downtown, downtown station. I want to have a stop. I think just maybe in front. And I don't think we need another one on on that side on the way back. Oh, of course. There's no way in. Of course. Of course. Of course. Um, of course. There we go. 
And we'll change this. We're doing black for the buses? Yeah, I think so. Perfect. And we'll probably put in another bus line. We'll just figure out where we want to connect that to. But uh, no, so far so good. I like that. This is really, this is neat. I like seeing all this traffic too. All right, now something that I would definitely love to have over here is a metro station. So let's go ahead and get that in here too. Now, um, I would like just to continue along with this line. This can just maybe even go in a nice straight, straight shot through here. There we go. Gives us the option to maybe go a little bit further and, you know, maybe have one more stop. Same with on this side. Maybe we can sneak around, kind of widen that a bit, have another stop down there. See how it goes. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend one of these lines instead of um, uh, adding a new one. So I think what we'll end up doing is probably changing this one. So we can hover over it and we can see. Oh, okay, so that one goes from there to there to there. So that's fine. That one is the one that's going to change. Okay, because that one's along. Yep. So let's click over here. Click on this. We're going to delete that line, and we are positive. And then we're going to put a new one in. So we'll start there. Go here. Go here. Finish at the campus. Come on back. And then complete down there. Great. And then we'll click on this. Get our colors just right. Kind of turquoisey. More turquoise. Ah, close enough. All right. So now we've got multiple forms of public transit making our way over to the university campus. We don't necessarily have to worry as much now with flooding this six lane road here with traffic. Let's put on three speed and watch for a little bit here. Because I wouldn't say the traffic is bad in the city in any one spot. It's just, it's starting to show its volume because our population is starting to, you know, it is slowly but surely rising. Even though we had a few death waves, and I think we actually went backwards a bit, but... So, I mean, we'll keep an eye on things, but just... If we're doing a really good job consistently, you know, throughout the city with public transit, then we should be, I think, okay. I'm really... I'm digging this, guys. This is really cool. It's filling in nicely, like we're seeing some good traffic flow through here. Yeah, see the same, we're into the same problems that we do with, um, like, tunnels and the canals and stuff. You never seem to want to build bridges properly over them. And I don't know if it's the height, I don't know, honestly know what it is. It's just this weird, it's, it's like the airspace is just permanently blocked uh, above it or something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause, I'm going to move the track a little bit just so we can get a straight road through here, because I actually do want a bit of um, connection. And so what we'll do is um, we'll put in the, the street first so I can just kind of see how much room we need. There we go. There we go. Oh, that would have been so perfect if that had fit. Oh, that's actually not all that. Oh, hey now. I actually like what we're doing here. That's like a little side road thing. I like that. Whoa, cool. We can zone off this one instead of that one. Oh, I like that. All right. That is neat. Oh, we can do that too? Oh, I really like that. To be honest, I think I'm going to do something like this a little bit more often in just some other cities. Maybe test out uh, test out traffic and stuff, see how that works. 
Maybe we can get away with a little high density pocket right here. Just a little one. I think maybe just for a visual sake, we can maybe sneak one more little path just through the side here. Yeah, I think that's nice. Same idea, maybe just a little little pocket of high density. Make sure our pipes are still good. They are. Let's get our power back in place. I'm trying to think if I want to do the lazy man connection, but no, I think we'll do a proper connection. And by proper, I mean we'll just pass it through some buildings. Lots of demand for commercial, so I'm hoping that this will fill in very quickly. And we can always just cheat and do. There we go. Almost there. And I know some of you are probably like, Imperial, just put some power lines down. And I could, I know. It's just like, I forget to remove them later. And then we end up with little pockets where you don't get full zoning squares. So I'm just going to kind of see, maybe it'll... Uh, so we got high demand for commercial, we got commercial right here, so hopefully this should just fill right in, right? At least that's my my logic. If it doesn't, I will happily put some power lines in, but there we go, you see it it uh, it made the bridge, we're good. Okay. Let's push outward. How long is that? About six units. Nice. Um, I feel like that can be a little bit cleaner, right? Yes. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Oh, and that means we can curve with this one as well then, right? Oh man, yes. Look how cool this looks. We can follow that the whole way too. Get out of town. Look at how nice that looks. I don't mind that that's not perfectly symmetrical. I think that might be a little bit difficult to achieve. And I, I just really just, I, I'm happy with that. So I'm not going to attempt fate and try and change it. I'm sure there's a way to do this so that the uh, terrain doesn't get all crazy with us. But what I like right here is just a little spot for some zoning for some people. Let's keep that on a hill. That's okay. It's not too, too, too uh, steep. I don't know, those little cool side street little connection things. I like that a lot. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. I'm really, I'm loving this. So I guess I could take back earlier what I was saying about how I was not a fan of the boxiness of everything. Now I kind of am. Funny how that works. I guess we needed to see just a little bit more of the space kind of put together first. But I still think we should do something kind of fun over here, like a roundabout or, or something, right? But it's like this, I don't know, it looks like symmetrically just nice. So I'm happy we're, we're taking the extra effort now. It's very possible that it'll end up being too noisy to keep the high density here, but I'm going to start and just kind of kind of see. Riverfront living, who would not want that? Would you call this a river? I guess so. 
technically a canal, but... I'm just really digging this, like, I don't know, I'm loving it. Instead of doing four-way intersections, we're having just fun doing these little cross things. And that's not so bad for traffic. I think what we could use, oh no, um, is just this. Get the extra lanes and get the traffic lights. No way, is this acting as one just traffic light team? Get out of here, did it time the lights and everything for us? What? That is awesome! I have such a hard time doing this with mods, and we just did it by accident without any. Oh my gosh, that is awesome! I am totally doing some of that again. I like that is such a fun little fluke. Very pleased with the results. Our population is now really moving. I think we started the episode with like 43, 44,000. And I was making the comment about traffic getting a little bit out of hand. I think we were just crossing 44,000. You can see now, um, we're just basically running. I think too much traffic along this one corridor right here. So we do need um, basically a highway to still sneak through here. I think that's kind of the final final verdict. So we'll keep that in mind. Um, I think we'll maybe keep the riverfront, this little part here, open. I know I said in the last episode I might not want to, or I didn't want to um, ruin the view, but I just, I love this too much to change it to bring a highway in later, right? And just this is starting to become an issue, this highway um, uh, backlog right here. Unfortunately, and I mean something we could do to help a little bit uh, alleviate that just for the moment. And this is just going to buy us a hint more time. I know the lanes look crazy excessive, but now we'll just have um, a little bit more room for vehicles to queue. They should use probably two or three lanes to um, to turn right now. So hopefully that'll help. It'll be counterproductive if they all just hang out in the one lane, <laughs> which they're doing so. Since that's the case, um, I'm actually going to switch it to this. Maybe that'll help. My goal is to try to get the queue off of the highway, have them in here, but I don't, because they're not using both lanes, I think I'm going to just switch back to, uh, to what we had. Yeah. Valiant effort, but unfortunately no dice. And uh, that bus stop, will it'll figure itself out in a second. Okay, um, let's not worry about this just yet. Um, I mean, like, really, we need the uh, population to be higher so we can buy our next tile. What do we need to be for that? Um, 65,000. So yeah, let's make that our, our next goal, basically. Let's get the uh, population up, buy the next tile, bring in a little highway connection, even if it ends over here, just have like a little expressway that comes in. That's something we could theoretically do, right? Make like a little trumpet interchange or something here. Um, bring in the um, little expressway, have a roundabout with some exits right there, and then, you know, sneak across the river, have another roundabout, have it just end or something right over here. I think that would kind of, that'd be kind of cool. You guys let me know your thoughts on that, though. And guys, just a friendly reminder, May 18th, the day that Mass Transit is released, I'll be doing a 12-hour uh, stream. So uh, check it out. The link to my um, Twitch page is on the uh, YouTube channel. But you can probably guess the name. It's Imperial Jedi over there as well. And uh, just in general, maybe you're watching this, you know, months later. And it's just some random... If it's a random Sunday, check out, uh, check out my Twitch page, because I might be streaming. I'm trying to get back into a more consistent streaming schedule. And I think Sunday is kind of like our fun, fun day to do some Skylines. Let's bring some services in over here. So we need a school for all of our residential friends. I'm gonna bring a high school in too. That bridge the power. It did not. But I am going to. No, I'm not. Oh, I knew we could do. I'm fairly confident that commercial will come in rather quickly. Um, we have a police station really close by, but it doesn't seem to be doing 
enough in terms of uh, zone coverage. So we could probably use one in this corner. I want just another... Yeah, there we go. It's just um, to maximize the uh, zoning squares right over here. There we go. Oh my goodness, what a difference to this area. Just, yeah, 30 minutes, what a difference it makes. So the high-density pockets, they came in, they actually turned out looking really nice. Like, I'm still really happy with this little intersection. I love the fact that this is just one big, you know, set of, like, timed lights together. That's so, I don't know, I almost say cute, but it's so cute having this one little tree right here with the lamp and everything. I don't know, I love this game, guys. Holy smokes, can you tell? So I, I, Maybe at the risk of making this look a little bit less crowded, I think it's maybe starting to, we can maybe sneak one little parking lot or something in here. Let's bring down the height a hint. Yeah, that's better. Grand. Yeah, we we'll probably do the same thing over here too, right? I wanted that one to go sideways. There we go. Fantastic. And because we have so much public transit going over here now, you can definitely notice a reduction in traffic. Which I'm very happy about. Um, I definitely think we need another incinerator. I don't necessarily want one over here, though. This is also why I want to get that next highway connection in, because that would make, um, you know, getting over here a lot easier for our um, uh, garbage trucks and that kind of stuff. So I guess for the moment, let's just put another one of these down. Just kind of buy us a little bit of time. Let's hang out here with some of our forestry stuff. Just of course we'll end up with the pollution, right? So we gotta deal with that a little bit more effectively as uh, you know as time goes on. But for the moment we're okay. Get rid of that connection. I don't think we're gonna do another bridge over there. I think we might maybe make this one into a tram, and then have that become another tram bridge and link up over here, and then do essentially the same kind of idea. But we'll just end up filling this in with a little bit of high density. We'll keep the density a little bit lower in the, around the university campus. And maybe this, again, will be kind of a bit more boxed out. And we can try something a bit more unique. Start curving some of the roads here. Because I, I like this kind of shape when we have, like, you know, a little bit of, um, you know, some straight roads with a lot of curbies. Really, I, I, I don't know, the flow of the city, just in general, I really like it. I think it's turned out just really nicely, especially for no mods. And goodness gracious me, these forest fires are so scary. But uh, I think, you know, for next episode, guys, we may have to do a little bit of brainstorming with traffic. I'm not 100% of what we can do. We just maybe are running into some problems in some areas. So we'll, we'll sneak a peek. Maybe we can improve on some intersections, but I don't know. I like it. We're slowly getting there. I know sometimes the pace is a little, you know, maybe not as fast as it should be for uh, for our building, but I got the, you know, I still got the bigger, bigger picture in mind. I think we're starting to get there. Because I still, I mean, we still have to revisit over here. We got to finish this expressway. We got to build a whole, you know, big high density neighborhood over here. We got this whole pocket we got to fill in. This will be suburbs. We got to like do, you know, industry on the other side, kind of expand out. We still have to do our farming. Like, goodness gracious me, there's so much to do with this city. But I mean, that's good though, because I mean, it's, you know, many more episodes, right? Anyway, guys, I think we'll, um, I think we'll end things off here. That'd be a fun little episode. I know we've been kind of getting tunnel vision working a lot over here, but uh, I'm happy with our work. I think, yeah, I think this is really cool. I don't know, I love these transitions. I love like this little area, you know, with like the the intersections, the trams, like the levels crossing for the train. And then just one more time, let me just sneak a peek at this thing. Like, holy heck, right? That's just great. That's just a one unit wide. And it looks like, yeah, it was enough to get the intersection to just be one intersection. So the lights, they're all timed and work together. So that's really cool. All right, guys, drop me some thoughts or yeah, drop me a comment. Let me know your thoughts. I'm really happy with this. And um, yeah, maybe if you guys have any uh, suggestions on areas we can work on too, or just some, you know, suggestions for the bigger picture, right? Drop me a comment. All right, friends, I will see you in the next one. All the best. Hope you're having a great weekend. Take care of yourselves. All the best, yeah. You guys are great.
wouldn't trade you for the world. Happy to have you along. So yeah, many more videos. Alright guys, adios. Thank you.